The following program is brought to you by Design Productions. The podcast no one listens to with Kevin Porter. Nice. Nice. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to an all new episode of the podcast. Uh, everyone's listening to you. Look at my jack up bangs, dude. Fucking Jessica. Fuck her. <laughs> my, my fucking hair's all like fucked up, dude. If you're watching the video portion, um, I have this like fucking the devil lock going for fucking looking like some emo little bitch or something, dude. So, like, I had Jessica just before we recorded. I was like, you know, no consideration the fact that I'm going to be on camera in like, you know, in just a couple minutes, even though I can easily just like throw the bangs back and boom, problem solved. You can't fucking see shit. Don't even know why I'm fucking talking about it. Other than the fact, there's nothing else to talk about. Oh, wait, it's New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. I don't fucking know when you're watching this shit. I don't even know why you're watching this shit. But yeah, so I had Jessica fucking trim it up and she fucked it up. I saw that it looked a little so, just like that look in her eye. Oh, fuck. Like, but dude, I gotta go back. Just get a fucking cut up anyway. So, whatever, motherfuckers. I'm just gonna shave it off, dude. Fuck it. I'm going Joe Rogan, motherfuckers. Grow a big fat fucking beard. Get a bald fucking head. Look, no one be like, wow, you used to have such pretty hair, and now you got a bald fucking head. It's like, whoa. Welcome to 2021. So, I don't know. What's up with you guys? How you guys all doing? Another fucking week that was. I'm your host, Kevin Porter, as always. Um, yeah, it's like, oh, no, I'm subbing in for the. I don't know. I don't know. Smoking weed, though. Ah, dude. Fucking nice joint. As I record this, as I record this, we're in the, you know, the last couple hours of 2020, dude. Fucking A, dude. Is this a year in review episode, man? Is this what that is, dude? Well, as you saw, it's the New Year's Eve spectacular uh, dose or uh, deuce or whatever the fucking French term, doiks, doiks, that's for, uh, German. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, Josh Bryant's on the podcast making his return. Uh, Ray was supposed to be on here because a year ago we did an episode that came out on New Year's. It was a special episode because our, our episode didn't drop that. Um, cause it was like a Thursday or a Saturday or some shit. I fucking forget. I don't even remember, dude. Anyway, I just remember dropping it like midweek. Uh, right after the new year. And so we're kind of like, we tried to recreate that moment, even though Ray couldn't get away from his lady long enough to fucking come out. Dude. And I know Ray doesn't listen to this shit. So I'll call him out every day, dude. Somebody should call him up and be like, Hey man, Kevin Porter's fucking calling you out on the podcast. No one listens to you, Ray. You better fucking tune in. And I'll just be like, yeah, that's one more download for the good guy. <laughs> so I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. I'm just, uh, I don't know, dude. This week's been fucking, uh, it's been a busy, busy fucking week, dude. I don't want to sit here and complain in any shape or form, dude. I feel very fucking blessed this week. And uh, had a lot of like, a lot of little things happen, dude, in terms of just like, you know, okay, like I'm getting really angry. I'm getting really angry. But then like you're stopping yourself and you're like, okay, do I really want to be angry about this? Am I really going to let this ruin my day? And it's like, no, I'm not. And then you don't. So I don't know, dude. I had two good days of uh, eating decent and doing some good exercise. And so I definitely have got a lot of exercises. We've got a lot more than I have in weeks past. So, hey, we're on, we're on the fucking bends in that sense, dude. We're moving forward uh, in terms of that. So that's good. Uh, that's good. Um, it's been working, dude. I feel like as soon as I get off work, I go to my second job, which is this podcast. And like, like I said, dude, like would I, I totally wanted to just jump in and just record as many episodes as I could. You know, it's like yesterday kind of had a break, but like today I'm recording this. It's like I gotta record, you know, another episode like right after this. And then tomorrow we got more shit that we gotta record. So it's like literally like pretty much four out of the five days, dude. I've basically been recording something. I actually was thinking about it like a future uh <clears throat> guest uh on the podcast, Michael uh, Garza coming up here in a couple weeks uh he came out and i was like thinking in my head i was like oh he came out here just the other day and then like i looked at my calendar i was like dude that was over a week ago dude i literally stayed in my house for basically like a week and a half uh before finally breaking down and going to fred myers last night and going shopping uh not necessarily by design dude it was just again like i get off work i stay busy at home dude like i, I mean this is this is kind of i mean that's what you're supposed to be doing right I'm supposed to be staying away dude the corona man you know just whatever dude i don't fucking care but i just stay at home dude just because it's fun to stay home and i don't think i've ever spent like 
I don't know, this much time home. And I've been like really kind of reflecting on that with like working at home now. And it makes me like appreciate being home. Like, I don't know. I just like, I've always wanted that. I was like, I just want to be home more, dude. It's like, I just want to be home. It's like, even though you still got to do your job here, you know, you still, you know, it's like, well, when I get up and go, you know, I'm in my kitchen, I'm in my living room, you know, I got property to fucking roam around on, dude. So it's like, we're in good standing, dude. I can hear fucking Annie. I don't know if that shit comes up on the mic. Dog is so fucking annoying, dude. Fucking Jamie and Jean cannot get back sooner, soon, uh, any sooner, dude. She's so old, though. I love her. She's a good little puppy. Um, it's like, what? You just said she's old and she's a puppy. Well, she's a good old doggy, dude. Calm down, dude. Calm the fuck down. I don't know. This may either may be like one of the best openings and one of the worst openings <laughs> in the history of this podcast. I don't know. Because like, like I said, dude, I've just been running rough shot all fucking week, dude. It's just like one thing to the next and the next and the next. And it's like, I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing. I, I kind of feel like um, just in regards to like the way this last month has fucking played out, basically. Um I feel like that's like, yeah, it's been the motto, the, the motto for 2020, December of 2020, dude. It's just like, get up and go. You know, it's just like, again, we're just trying to focus and just keep our mind occupied and stuff. And I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. Because, I, dude, I have downtime. You know, I definitely have downtime. But fucking today being New Year's Eve, dude, New Year's uh, Day, dude, I definitely want to get down on some fucking video games, dude. Just uh, for Christmas, dude, I got a $50 uh, PlayStation store card. So I got, like, Resident Evil 3. A Street Fighter, uh, you know, the 30 year anniversary for the PlayStation. Which I already had it on Switch, dude, but it's like, man, I want it on the PlayStation. <laughs> so, and it's like, you're playing with free money at that point anyway, getting a gift card. So it's just like, why not just get what you want? That's one thing I'm like really trying to, like, I don't know, get like, um, like really in tune with. Cause like, I don't know, we talked about it in like, you know, uh, like a couple weeks ago, just about like, okay, like, you know, before everything fucking happened, I remember we were talking about like, you know, watching movies and, you know, like making a list and like, not necessarily making a list, but okay, we're watching this, this, and this, and this. And, um, and I mean, like right now, I'm just kind of like, you know what? Cause like sometimes you get like anxiety. It sounds so fucking stupid, dude. But sometimes you get like anxiety over like, you have so many options, dude, you know, where you're just like, fuck, what the fuck am I going to watch right now? And you end up just like twiddling on your phone on Facebook. And I hate that, dude. I fucking hate spending all that time in the evening just on your fucking phone dude it's such a waste dude. even though like you're playing a video game or watching a movie i feel like that's more quality um you know you know entertainment you're getting from watching a movie and or playing a video game rather than just like scrolling through a bunch of whiny bitches fucking you know comments and complaints on the fucking internet dude so call me crazy but uh it's just the way we, the way it goes sometimes uh, so I don't know. I've just been like basically like, okay, I want to watch X Men tonight. I'm gonna watch fucking X Men, dude. I'm gonna watch Friday the Thirteenth Part Four again. You know, I'm gonna watch whatever the hell I want. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna play whatever games I want. Oh, I'm bored. Guess what? I'm just gonna do something else. You know, and I don't know. I mean, just going from one thing to the next, dude. And just just fucking just saying whatever. You know, kind of you know be be the giver to your desire. You know, as they say in some metal. Dude, I've been listening to a lot of fucking like '80s fucking metal, dude. Like, I don't know, dude, some, some butt rock in there, but like some fucking straight metal also, man. Oh shit, dude. All I gotta say is dude, docking, bro. Docking, dude. Beast from the East live, dude. 1985 or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, dude, dream warriors. Like, ah, uh, dude, I, I've, uh, listened, listened to that album that that dream warrior song is on. I've listened to that at least like two or three times this last week. It's like I said, dude, like I'm just doing what I want. I'm like, I don't know. I haven't like, ever, dude, for the longest time, man, it's like, I can't tell you like an album, Interrupters, Interrupters would have been probably like the last band that like, once I heard that CD, I was like, I got to listen to that again, again, and again. And that's kind of how I felt about Docket, dude. Not to say like every single song is great, dude. Like the first three to five songs are pretty good. And then it kind of like mellows out until you get to Dream Warriors at the fucking very end. But dude, some of those songs are really fucking kicking, dude. They kick ass, dude. So, you know, I don't know. Like I'm a, I was, I wouldn't say I was a huge Dawkins fan before. Like I'd had him on my phone, but you know, and I'd listen to him, but it wasn't necessarily like give him like, you know, an honest try or whatever. And that's like one thing now, dude, I'm just like blaring music through the day, you know, like it's, it's pretty cool actually, dude. Like, you know, I'm just like, you know, I got my speaker next to me. So it's just like, boom, you know, rock music all day. I'm like, all right, just put this album on. And like, I kind of fucking unlocked a feature on iTunes then unlock it. I'm just like, you know, so fucking retarded sometimes that I just don't know 
you know, where to go or what to do. Cause like the whole time I'm going to artists. So you're going through like, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of fucking, you know, albums that you've added to your, <clears throat> there it is there. Hit the mute button before you fucking clear your throat. You son of a bitch. Uh, apologize to those nice ladies and gentlemen out there in the, you know, stereo land. Oh shit. Um, so <laughs> what the fuck was I even? Oh yeah. Um, Oh yeah. So you're like selecting and like, I was having issues where you'd press pause and like the screen would go black and then like, you'd go back into it and like the song was gone and like, you'd have to re go through all the, the, all the songs and shit. And like, it was just a real pain in the fucking ass. But I found out like where it's, it's like, it's like yours or some shit. It's like mine or some shit. Like that's like the feature and you press on it. Then it's got like all the stuff that you'd listen to in order. And it's like, Oh, I could have been going back to this like the whole entire time, but like, I'm just so fucking stupid. (laughs) You know? And it's like, whatever. But I figured that out. So I've just been like, it's like, it like suggests, it's like, you know, Netflix or whatever suggests, you know, different bands and music that you should listen to. So I've just been like throwing it on there, listening to hella, you know, classic rock, punk rock, ska music and shit. Sometimes you just get on a roll, dude. You just got to fucking roll with it. Hit the mute button that time, dude. So, uh, fuck, man. Again, like, I'm so, I feel so, like, I'm, like, full of high energy. And it's, like, energy I don't know where to direct at this moment. Like, um, I feel like, I yeah, I tried recording this shit last Sunday. And it sucked so fucking hard, dude. I was just, like, fucking, I fucked up, like, three or four times. And I'm just, like, oh, yeah, and top it off. Uh, oh, yeah, fucking, that was stupid. Yeah, so the little connect, because again, you know, Apple products are fucking pieces of shit, you know, when it comes to like, you know, actually just like, oh, I want to plug in a USB into my computer. It's like, no, you got to get a a USB to lightning adapter, you know, so it's like, I had to buy one when I first bought this computer and that the one that I had bought finally went out this past like fucking Saturday, dude, because like, we're trying to watch Wonder Woman 1984 on HBO's app on the fucking PlayStation. And if you listen to Are You Ready? A professional wrestling podcast every single fucking Monday, with Jay McNay, you would have heard us talking about, um, you would have heard us talking about how the PlayStation is just a piece of shit when it comes to fucking streaming on the WWE network. Well, apparently that rings true for the HBO network as well, dude, or at least my internet just sucks that fucking bad. I don't know. One of the two, but like, so we're trying to watch that. It keeps fucking up. So I'm like, all right, well, why don't we just hook up my fucking laptop to the computer and we'll just stream it off the browser. And it's like, I plug, I plug my HDMI, you know, thing into it and on the computer and it's like you know it's like this you know shaky picture and shit it's like motherfucker you know i'm like ah it's fucking broken so then i go out here i go out to my office the next day last sunday after the fucking seattle seahawks won their fucking that won this year's nfc west championship division title motherfuckers i guess it's not championship Take two, when I watch the Seahawks uh, win the NFC West division title. There you go. That's a lot better. <laughs> so, um, um, what the fuck? Oh, man, I don't even know. So, yeah, I came out here and I plugged it in. And I was getting no power to my fucking mic or anything. So, I'm like, oh, well, I don't, like, let's just try the, you know, let's just go ahead and try uh, the computer speakers out of our, uh, you know, just see how they pick up. And, like, it, it's all right. You know, it's not great or anything. Uh, but then like I tried my headset, my new headset, dude, and just using that as a mic, dude, you, no, dude, those things are pieces of fucking shit dude, for, for using like for, you know, zoom recording or anything, dude, the quality is garbage. So I, you know, it may not seem like I have standards on this podcast, but I actually, I do have a little bit of fucking stand. I try to like present you some sort of, you know, decent audio or decent picture or whatever. It's like, maybe you should go get that checked out. It's like, dude, fucking acid reflux, bitch. What? Ah, no, dude, it's horrible. I think everybody suffers from that to a point. That's why I looked up, dude. It's like, you look it up online. It's like, you have, if you have like issues like clearing your throat, which I, I don't always have issues clearing my throat. It just, it seems like anytime I try to record the fucking podcast, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, it was all fucked up, which fucking sucks ass, dude. Cause like I had to record a podcast that very next day and it's like, okay, cool. I don't, I can't even use my mic, you know, like. Luckily, like, uh, you know, um, I was able to place an order and get the thing by Tuesday because, you know, thank God for Amazon. Jeez. <laughs> That's, it's like, and dear Lord, thank you for Amazon for every day bringing us liquid gold and oh, whatever the hell else they bring you fucking T-shirts and, and, and movies. You know, I don't know. I don't know. So, oh, tired, dude. But we got through it. We got through this week. Uh, yeah, shout out Kevin Richardson, dude. He had me on his, uh, his, he had, he had a, um, 
he had a reading for his adaptation, I believe, of The Great Gatsby, um, which Kevin Richardson, I've done. Uh, I did I did his, you know, I did the rendition of Hair that he did. I was in The Graduate, and I was also in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And um, so I've done three plays with him over the years, and just like, you know, because of COVID and everything, you know, and he, him moving out of Yakima. Um, unfortunately, we, we lost like a little bit of a city treasure, I feel, in Kevin Richardson, dude, because I really feel like his his DIY plays that he was able to perform at the Yakima Unitarian Church, um, like, you know, I, I fuck, I'm thinking now, it's like, what years did those go through? Like, what was that like, I don't know, 2016, 2018 or something? I don't know. I know I, know I did plays before I was in those uh, those last three. Fuck, dude, I'm just, like, all over the place. And then I had to, like, cough and shit. It's like, what? What? Smoking too much weed, man. So, uh, but, yeah, dude, kind of, like, a loss of a, a little bit of a city treasure, dude. Because, like, you know, you have, like, the warehouse theater. You have a little, like, some more, like, upscale type, you know, presentations that you can find here in town. And, you know, those are cool. Those are nice. I, it's cute. It's It's adorable what they do. But, you know, Kevin Richardson, like, you know, again, DIY, punk rock is, like, to me is always going to be more fulfilling in terms of as like just um because you know you're not and again not saying those guys at the warehouse theater get paid or anything either but like you know they're just like you know it's just it's a it's you know it's an actual theater you know it is what it is uh they have a little bit more of a budget you know it's just like when you get a you got a shoestring budget man and you're trying to fucking you know put together you know an you know a two-hour production you know with like you know fucking dude hair like we had a full cast for hair dude like how many fucking people are in that play dude and like kevin richardson made it happen dude with the rehearsals he did all the you know the the the, the, the scripts that we got dude he, he managed you know and like you no know, not a lot of people know what that's fucking like dude like it's a lot of fucking work dude and especially something like those productions like that takes time and effort blood and sweat and tears dude and you're not getting paid for it. You're doing this out of the labor of your fucking heart, man. I know you love the love of your heart. And so, again, like, I miss Kevin Richardson. I miss those plays. But he hit me up this last, like, Tuesday and was like, hey, man, by chance, could you step in and be the host for this Zoom reading that we're doing for The Great Gatsby? Because apparently the the person uh, who had he had lined up for it had dropped out. I'm like, dude, you know, I'm like really in the mode right now where I'm like, don't say no to things. So I'm like, dude, yeah, like let's make this fucking happen, dude. So I was able to fucking reschedule some shit. And dude, yeah, totally just, <laughs> you know, sat in, dude. Like you, you can watch it on YouTube. You know, uh, I'll try it. Cause he's supposed to be releasing it at midnight tonight, actually. Cause it, cause uh, the great Gatsby, it's uh it's going into public domain and so anybody can like make their own rendition not have to pay fucking royalties for it anymore apparently so we're going to be like one of the first like groups of people to actually do some sort of like great gatsby performance uh and it's um you know in the public square like that so that's pretty cool dude so you know again i had no idea what the fuck i was getting into i was just like all right so i had to, like i was basically narrating the whole thing it says host or whatever so you know it's it was cool it's cool you know so um, and then I got to do the intro for it, which I don't know if you watch the video, dude. Cause like, I, again, it felt like it, for the monologue that it was, it really felt like I should have like, you know, I wish I had like two or three days to like, you know, just practice it and like, you know, get it memorized and stuff and just be able to fucking nail it, you know, beat for beat. Uh, but I think we did a good job. I, I honestly like walking away from Tuesday, dude, I was like, we did a pretty decent fucking job. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the week of our life, dude. Fucking A, dude. It's been a crazy week. Like I said, we've been recording podcasts left and right. Dude, we're having brand new guests on here. People that you've never seen on this podcast before are going to be rolling through. And, uh, you know, going into 2021, I'm, you know, I'm feeling pretty good, man. You know, you never know what's going to happen in life. You know, knock on wood, Lord willing, we'll be here coming into 2022, December next year, man. But, you know, again, like, you know, you got to put good thoughts out there. You got to have positive mental attitude, man. You got to fucking do that, dude. You got to own it, dude. You got to own your existence you know, with a little bit of help, <laughs> you know, so, all right, ladies and gentlemen, um, dude, like I said, man, uh, are you ready A professional wrestling podcast every single Monday? If you haven't checked out this week's episode, I don't even know what we're recording because we haven't recorded yet, dude. That's like, it's fucking, like I said, dude, we're all over the place, dude. So it's good. We're recording tomorrow. Uh, first episode of the year. I'm excited. I'm excited to re- sit down with Jay McNay and talk professional wrestling. Um, we'll probably get another episode of, uh, you know, smoking in the boys room out of that. So be on the lookout for that, uh, this weekend. Um, again, dude, happy fucking new year, dude. Um, again, dude, this week's guest, dude, Josh Bryant, like I said, last year we tried doing, 
or we did uh, New, Year's, <clears throat> New Year's Eve spectacular. So it was me, Josh, uh, Josh Bryant, and Ray Martin. Ray couldn't make it this time. So it was me and Josh. Um, I will say, uh, you know, um, I, w- I felt like, you know, just myself, because, like, this is my first, like, actual sit-down podcast I had since, like, all that shit I did, you know, have with my sister. And I, I felt, like, a little bit on my end, like, I was just a little bit, like, shaking, you know, because, like, I don't know, sometimes you ride the bike, you got to, you know, fall down a little bit and then get off or whatever. And you know what it is? I don't know. Dude. I don't even know what I'm fucking trying to say. I don't even know what the fuck I'm trying to say. I'm just saying, like, I, don't know, I even apologized to Josh afterwards, you know, it was a little fucking inside baseball there. I was like, hey, man, you know, sorry, that wasn't, like, I don't feel like that was my best performance, you know. And, uh, you know, he's like, no, dude, it's cool. So, I mean, dude, I may be over fucking thinking it, whatever, dude. That's just me being in my head. But, I don't know, I feel like I – had to fucking say something before um you know introducing this podcast so uh all right let's jump in without further ado i give you josh bryant all aboard arcade revenge right and it uh you had to play spider-man on the first level and like you had to run around and shoot both these little things with your little web blaster. And uh, once you got all of them, you finish your level, and then you could pick all your X Men, or you could be Spider Man again. It's like who who really wants to keep going by Spider Man? Like you got yeah, Wolverine, no. who's on there? Gambit, Cyclops. Yep. And Storm. 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 Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Well. Because I remember that game. I remember seeing the cover because it had, like, all their faces on the cover, right? Wolverine was fun. Gambit was hard because it was, like, a, a chase level. Like, the screen moved, you know? And it's like, if it caught up to you, you would die. You'd fucking die. Just die. Storms was an underwater level. And you'd have to, you'd have <clears throat> to like, get to certain points and shoot these boxes with your lightning to drain the water. But then it would fill back up, and you'd have to do it all again. Oh, shit. While you were fighting shit. So it, yeah. <laughs> it was hard. And uh, But Cyclops, his levels were really hard, too, because you'd have to jump in minecarts. Mm. And then, mm. like, you'd so you'd have to, like, make your, you know, your shady-ass Super Nintendo jumps into the minecarts perfectly, and you drop, like, a brick as soon mm. as you fall, like, Castlevania. And then, you know, you just, you'd, you'd, like, go a little bit on the track, and you'd have to shoot stuff with his... Uh, you know. His, uh, lasers. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I always, uh, I always had trouble on Donkey Kong, like trying to fucking beat that level, dude. I always get stuck on that, dude. The like, very first minecart madness. The very first minecart madness. I've never like I fully show you beat a that secret game right now. Oh my gosh, I have it. I have Donkey Kong on. Well, uh, so yeah. So let if, us talk after the podcast, Josh. If you so no yeah, <laughs> if you jump like so as soon as you walk into that level, like right. you know you level select. You walk in, you're in the cave. Before you jump in the barrel and shoot yourself in the minecart, mm. if you jump over the cliff and hug the corner, blam, you jump into the minecart at the end of the level. Oh, you know, you know. <laughs> now that you say it, dude, I swear to God, like if we were to go back on any of our many like the podcasts you've been on, dude, like I'm pretty sure that's come up because honestly, I remember that now. <laughs> I remember you telling me that. Fuck, yeah. I always get stuck on that fucking level. There's dude. a couple of levels like that. Um, you know, those games are hard. Yeah. I was in, I think, like, second or third grade when I had the Donkey Kong countries, and yeah, oh my god, dude. My dad had a Super Nintendo, he bought my brother a Super Nintendo, so the only time I really played Super Nintendo was at his house. And then my next door neighbor, Brandon, uh, he, uh, not Brandon out. <laughs> this dude they Brandon, uh, he had a Super Nintendo, and I had a Sega, so, like, I'd play Super Nintendo there, but, like, I don't think we played Donkey Kong a lot, like... I can't, like, I don't know. I feel like we played, like, Final Fantasy and shit like that. Like, he was all into shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, there was always someone that was into that shit. Like, that's the shit I was into. But, you know, my my family didn't know, so they would buy me the popular games. And, you know, oh, Donkey man. Kong, Super Mario, yeah. all kinds of stuff like that. We had every single Donkey Kong Country up until they stopped making them on our Super Nintendo. Um how many are there? I, I know of three. The they only made three. three. Right? Yeah, just the three? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I have the first two, but I don't have the third one. Yeah, the third one is okay. Uh, I went and I have a an SNES Mini. Okay. And I went and I, you know, those ones are cool because you can hook, hook them up to the computer and you can hack them. You can lock and, the shit out of and, it. And yeah, mm-hmm. and just put new games on them and stuff. How easy is that actually? Because I I've been lo- I've looked at them, but it's just like for the cost of like what you know the Super Nintendo remake. You know, it's like 
Well, like over a hundred bucks, right, for one of those? Mm, not anymore. Not they anymore. Were, they were okay. Uh, but I, my mom gave me the one she had because they never touched it, and so I was like, "Let me so see that." Let me take it. And I yeah. think Jamie actually has one, dude. I should just to hit her up. I know she never plays that shit, too, dude. Well, and those are the uh, so like it's weird because uh, the SNES classics. They have, and I think the the NES classics too. The USB cords that come um, stock with those are the only cords you can use right. to hook them up to your computer because uh, they work as a data transfer. Yeah, cable. yeah that makes sense. Yeah, and um, but so like I, I don't think like the Sega Minis you can do it with. Like, um, there's a way you can do it, but because mm-hmm. everybody hacks everything. Yeah, like every single thing. It's like that standing arcade right there, dude. I keep thinking to myself, I was like, I wonder how. Oh, dude, you, you could, could fucking put, mod that shit. Oh dude. man, dude, Streets of Rage on that shit. Get the Simpsons arcade game. Get all the fucking cool arcade games, dude. And that's really cool, dude. How much was that? Uh, like with the with the dude, they charge you like a hundred bucks just for the fucking stand, just about dude. It's like seventy nine bucks. I was, so it's like four. It's like four hundred bucks, dude. You know, it's you know about four hundred bucks. I was looking into ones that are um, like yay mm-hmm. high, and they oh, like can cool, like your the desk. counter one, dude. Yeah. That would be cool too. Yeah, yeah, they're really neat, and like yeah. uh, some of them have like you know the tracking ball and stuff. Like, oh, like the golf game. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, I've seen that they had the golf game out there. That that old school golf game that used to be in like in every single fucking arcade. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh man, no, dude. Uh, well, it costs like a fucking buck fifty to play. Yeah, dude, straight up. That always costs. Like, dude, that pisses me off now, dude, is, uh, is fucking pinball machines. Dude, you go play pinball anywhere, dude. You're playing, like, at least, you're paying at least 75 cents to fucking play that game. If not straight up a dollar, dude. Yeah. Used to be a quarter, dude. I remember going to Red Robin back in the day, the old one, and you get you go under there and you, like, you flip on the on and off switch on there, and, like, it would give you a free game of pinball. <laughs> So, nice. I totally mastered that when we were like I five. remember uh, I went to the Meadowbrook Arcade one time with this kid, mm-hmm. and he's like, dude, check this out. And, like, there was this machine, but it was right by the front counter. <laughs> and uh, he would do something, and he could, like, get it a win every time, mm-hmm. and he'd hit the jackpot. And, like, so he did it, like, three times, and so the chick had to come change the ticket roll because he... Because he won all yeah. the tickets, and he yeah. just and we were just like, oh, you know, but it looked like we were both standing there playing it. But he just kept dropping that coin in the same spot, and I don't know if he was doing something else that I didn't know. Yeah, but like he did it, and then the second time, the chick came back to um, change the tickets. She was like hella like giving us dirty looks. <laughs> we she were, knew you like somehow scamming something. It. Yeah, because then eventually that machine turned <clears> off. Right. They just straight up just took it out. They're like, yeah, there's a fucking bug in this shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude. And then I want to say there was a Sonic the Hedgehog machine. Get closer to the mic. Oh, sorry. I want to say there was a Sonic the Hedgehog machine, and it did the same thing. Like <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog? What game would, the, would that have been? Just like... Yeah. I mean, it might have been a different arcade that I've been to, but it was the it. same kind of concept, like where you'd, yeah, you'd drop the coin, but it was like, you know, it'd make like the ring sound. <coughs> right. And the whole time it'd be like... <laughs> I love Sonic, the Sonic, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog is so fucking cool, dude. Fuck yeah. Have you ever looked into like buying the CDs for like the, the, the soundtracks for like Mario and like, oh, s- dude. S- you know, Sonic I, or whatever? Dude, you just find it on your phone. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like I listen to Castlevania music all the time. That's cool, dude. <laughs> when I play video, yeah. other video games, I'll listen to Castlevania music. Why not? Dude, I listen to scores a lot, like for horror films, mm-hmm. like Halloween 3 and like Nightmare on Elm Street are like the two main ones I listen to. But like anything John John Carpenter, but like video game sounds though, dude. Like yeah, that's a yeah. I never like I don't know. Like is that just like on Apple Music or yeah? Is uh, it? Well, I, you I guess can I just, just look it up. I mean yeah, yeah and then like it's you YouTube know, it. there's always YouTube dudes. Yeah, YouTube's like I don't know. I use YouTube a lot lately. Yeah, I I use YouTube to find a lot of music. Yeah. I listen to a lot of podcasts on there, just like the video versions of it. Yeah. Which like is weird because like I was so used to like. For so many years, dude, just listening to the audio, dude, like, while I was at work. Like, and now it's, like, you watch it on, I don't know, it's just a whole different experience, it feels like, sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. Joy will not stay lit. Don't you hate that? Yeah, it's, like, these cheap ads. No wonder they sell them four for fucking nine bucks, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit. Yeah. I, I I don't know. I, yeah, if I do, 
I try to get <coughs> like, uh, ones that are yeah like you know two packs for like sometimes you can find like two packs mm. for like you know eight or nine bucks you just get like those solid like one gram ones like the dutch berry ones dude i fucking i've gotten so fucked up off those ones dude yeah yeah we went we went to that um that no effects like punk and drublick or whatever in portland mm-hmm. it was like one of the worst experiences of my life just for the simple fact of like it was in the middle of a fucking field in like july there's like no shade anywhere dude so it's just like it was so hot Oof. And luckily, like, I don't know, I feel bad for everybody else because everybody was drunk as shit, dude. It was so much fun, dude. Drunk and being just, we, like, horribly Oh, my God, dude. Like, you go to the watch pit, dude, you're just looking at sloppy, drunk people everywhere, Ooh. dude. This guy got straight up kicked out. He, like, got hauled out there by security. He was all fucking naked as shit, dude. Just, like, it was it was intense. And, you know, it's all people our age, too. So, it's, like, in their, people in their 30s and, like, 40s and 50s, <laughs> dude. It's, like... We're not even talking young kids, dude. Like, they're just... Oh, no. They're just ra- getting rowdy, you know, in the middle of fucking July in Portland. Oh, but it was fucking... It was definitely an experience, dude. Like, I basically just hid around the porta potties because it was, like, the only shady area. So I sat there and just smoked weed and listened to fucking MXPX. Yeah. <laughs> then, we, then it got cooler and, like... And it sucked, dude, because it was all windy as shit, so they couldn't put their banners up. So, like, Bad Religion, like... Yeah, Bad Religion was cool seeing there. That was fun. That would have been really cool. Yeah. And no effects played the the decline with the orchestra. It was the prep for like whatever the recording was down that Red Rock. Oh, nice! I think yeah. I heard. I think they have a recording of that. <clears throat> yeah, it's the Red Rock one. Yeah. Yeah, they did like a, it was basically just a practice version. Like, it was, a, it was the first time ever doing the it. The one where he's talking about bad religion didn't have a bassoon. <laughs> yeah. A, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's fucking cool. The fat Mike's all wearing the dress and shit. Yeah. You know? Of course. It's rocking it, dude. Yeah, no nah, man. Did you watch? Uh, did you watch their uh, the the one at Fat Mike's house? Yep. What was it? Um, two heaps and a bean. And why trash two heaps and a bean? They played. Yeah, was that the one they played? Yeah, I think so. It's a good album. Fuck yeah, that's like one of the best albums. That's yeah. like, yeah. Oh, that is like the like one of like my introductions to No Effects. It was that one. I bought all their old albums. First, I bought mm-hmm. you know, uh, well I had Punk and Drublick, and then Is I that had, the first one you got? No, the first one I got was White Trash Two Heaves and oh, Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got S <clears throat> and M Airlines. I, yeah, I remember and, the first time I heard S and M Airlines was through you. I remember you yeah. had the CD? I remember going to your house and yeah, you, my house on Lincoln. There. Yeah, that's yep. that's it. Yeah. And uh, and then I had uh, what was the other one? Uh, I think it was. Pump up the volume. That was a good one too. And uh, so I, ha- I found all three of those at a, at a store when I was with my grandma. I think I was staying out of town one time. Back in uh, the day when there was like department stores with like music sections. Department stores, yeah. There's music sections. <laughs> I found um, uh, I, fa- I in at Sam Goody. Like I remember. I remember we, Sam Goody. She had to go to a mall, and I went to a Sam Goody's, and so I got uh, I found like. All the Punkaramas I could find. I found Punkarama 2, Punkarama 8, mm-hmm. I think, and um, Life in the Fat Lane, which was like, you know, that was like kind of a, that, but that album was good because that got me into like the bands that I liked, you know, I was like, oh, these, you know, other, like Mad Caddies and shit like yeah. that. Well, that's how you found like all the bands, dude. Like you just do those compilations, like compilations aren't like. Aren't even a thing anymore, really, dude. Yeah, Punkarama was fucking. Oh man, dude, Punkarama. I had a physical copy of Punkarama two. I remember Eric would always be like, "Dude, I can't believe you have that CD." <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a dude. I remember, dude, like picking that up too, man. Like, and, like those weren't like they weren't that expensive, dude. Because like I remember they were buying, like five bucks. Yeah, because like I didn't I didn't have um the ones that I had I had, had Punkarama two, like Punkarama five, and then I had uh, short music for short people. And I also had a copy of that uh, forty songs, like you oh, know, minute uh, songs or what? Short, short the, music for uh, short people. Th- yeah, short music for short people. Yeah, I had that too. And I actually I rebought that one recently, dude. I, I rebought that, and I also had Fat Six. I think everybody, I swear to God, everybody had that one. That was the one with like Rise Against, fucking Mad Caddies were on that. Uh, you know, fucking Against Me was on there. I'm trying to think of the cover. It was uh, in the jacuzzi, like yep. the fat guy in the jacuzzi. It was like fat Six blue. was a great fucking album. Yeah, that I was had good. literally every fat comp, ex- except for the probably the first one. I think I, I think I had Fat mm. Three and up. Mm. Up until I had Fat Three. Well, I guess so. Fat Three to Fat Six, so probably only three. Right, right. 
But, but still, uh, yeah. But yeah, and then Punkorama 2 through 8. <coughs> and uh, those are, yeah, those were just fucking good CDs. Um, lots of good fucking Yeah, I remember albums. Punkorama 9, dude. It had the chick on the cover. It was all like fucking, you know. But it, I don't know, that's like, it's kind of, that's when they all started including like, I don't know, I don't even know what, how you would describe it, but there was like, you know, like, it's not emo, I mean, but it was like, 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 alternative, like, rock, in a sense, but it's not rock or something, I don't know, I'm trying to, like, think of the names of, like, any of those bands, like, All American Hero or shit like that, or, okay, you know, uh, yeah, no, like, Jimmy the Ataris and, and shit, shit, you know, like, the Ataris, the Ataris were on Life on the Fat Lane, fucking the Ataris, dude, I was actually just, like, going through their, their iTunes thing the other day. I mean, they had that, like, you know, that one song, you know, I forget, like, was it So Long Astoria? It's, yeah, that's yeah, the one that from album. Fat, that's that that's, one. Was yeah. that on Fat? Yeah, that was oh, one from yeah, Life dude. in the Fat Lane. Damn, dude, that's Yeah, because awesome. they would, or no, 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 San Dimas High, fo- San Dimas yeah, high, it. high School it, Football Rules, that yeah, was, that's yeah. that's the song, yeah. Yeah, that was that one. Yeah, no, dude, um, just, yeah, dude, I remember fucking going to the Warped Tour every year, dude, like, every year, dude, like, that, that was, like, always another way to, like, go discover new bands like you just find people you never even fucking heard of yeah see bands that you mm-hmm. never think you'd see you know i still tell people to this day mm-hmm. that oh hey i walked by katie perry on warp tour and was like yeah Pah. yeah katie perry was straight up on the warp tour that like, <laughs> i walked by and was like oh what that's katie perry and then my you know and then nikki's friend was like Let's go watch. And I was like, fuck that. And then we just walked to something else. <laughs> You're just like straight up, nope, I'm not even going to waste my time. No. Yeah. I remember uh, meeting MC Chris on the Warp Tour. There you go. Yeah, I remember meeting him. We met uh, Randy from Pennywise like the first year we went in like 2001. Like me and Skink like like went up to the to the tent up there, dude. And he's just all up there. We're just like, oh, it's fucking Randy and shit. Like, yeah, dude. I think Pennywise was... Pennywise is like one of my favorite bands of like all time, dude. Oh, so, mine too. Yeah, I remember the the first club show we ever went to. It was like me, you, and Eric. Me, you, Eric, and Trent. No, Trent wasn't there. Remember, he got all pissed off. He was supposed to be there, but some something happened. Oh, he, he got did... kicked out because he had liquor in a. Oh, that was a di- that was a completely different show. No, that was when we went to go. Okay, so we were supposed no, to. No, do... that was Voodoo Glow Schools. Yeah, and I wasn't yeah. there, but it was no. me, Ray. And Jamie and Gene. Oh, and me, you, and Eric went to went to Pennywise, Pennywise, and it was at Olympia. Then we went to Olympia afterwards. Yeah. Okay, so we went to Seattle, saw Pennywise. Mm-hmm. Then we went to Olympia. Yep. Yep. Yeah, dude. I was just thinking about it the other night. Uh, ah, yeah. dude. We saw that little kid band. Like I forget their name, but there was like these little kid. This little they they played the Warp Tour up there at the Gorge. I know, and like they played a like they're just playing a, a bunch of fucking shows. Huh. They opened for them that night. I can't oh. remember their fucking name. I don't remember, but I just remember uh, being at that show mm-hmm. and uh, like, I w- no, uh, that was I'm thinking of Warp Tour. Uh, but one time when we were watching Pennywise and like some chick just passed out in the crowd, and Eric was like, oh, "Well, I guess she couldn't that. handle Pennywise." <laughs> he was just like Eric, just like like a dick. Like everybody was like standing around her in a circle, and Eric's like, "Well." I guess Pennywise is too much for her. <laughs> <laughs> They're like picking her up and carrying her so away. Yeah, get that pussy out of here, dude. <laughs> done. So You're funny. done. You can't handle the heat, son. Oh, I laughed. And like, she was probably like suffering from like hardcore dehydration or some shit, dude. Like she's probably drinking a bunch of beers in the sun. Yeah. Oh, but that's the killer, dude. Drinking beers in the sun. Jeez, dude. Ugh. Well, the gorge always charged you like ten bucks for a beer anyway. Even when we were of age, you know, when we were going to it, it's like I never, I never drank during that shit, dude. I just always drank water. No, I yeah. You can't, dude. I mean, you can if you're just gonna. I mean, you know, I, lay, I learned, up the, lay up on the, the hill and get fucking sunburned. I hate to say it, dude. I honestly think the last show that I mm-hmm. saw live. Was with Nikki, and I think we went and saw Slipknot in Marilyn Manson. So. Yeah, is that the White River? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I've never, I've never, see, I've never really been into metal too much. So like, I've never gone and seen those bands. Slipknot was really cool. Corey Taylor, I guess, had recently had neck surgery. Ah. So he didn't really do much. He was running around on stage. Yeah. And he was like. 
all right, motherfuckers, I'm going to save one jump for you. And I was just like, oh, God, being old. <laughs> like He just, like, jumps, he falls down, and he's paralyzed. He's just like, ah, <laughs> oh, I'm, ah, oh, I fell. I should have done it. Those fans at the, at the library. Oh, you motherfuckers. You fuck off, bird. Fuck off, bird. You damn maggots. No. This is Wait and Bleed, bitch. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to sing this song on the floor. That's the only album of theirs I own. I don't know Wait and Bleed. That's the album. old school one. Yeah. I remember, because, like, I was into, like, new metal very, like, I was it was a very short amount of time. Dude. It was, like, eighth grade going into ninth grade and most of my ninth grade year. And then I met Sean Holmes and he started showing me punk rock. So, <laughs> but, like, I was into, like, you know, corn and all that shit. But, yeah, I don't know. I think we've talked about it, like, personally. But, like, I've gone back and listened to that shit. And, like, I, I think, I think you know, to be honest, I actually like Limp Biscuit a lot more than I liked Corn. Like, back in the day when I was a kid, I was all about Corn, dude. And I was like, ah, Limp Biscuit's all right. But I go now, it's like, you know, the significant other album, like, is pretty good for the most part. Um, and the, the $3 hot dog. Real. Yeah, three dollar that one. The hot dog flavored water one, it has, like, a couple songs that are good. Like, not every song is good. Like, actually, a lot of them suck. But, like, I don't know, there's one song at the very fucking end, dude. I forget the fucking name. It's, like, track 13 or 14 or something. It's, like, it's a really good song. And, like, I don't think it was, like, a cover or anything. I think it was, like, an actual original song. I was, like, oh, this is yeah, decent. I, it's, you know, it's it's cool music. Like, being a mm-hmm. musician, it's, like, uh, that's, they do some cool fucking sound and shit, and I dig it. Uh, you know, I, like, I've ha- I owned all those albums. You know, at one yeah. point in time, yeah. and uh, you know, like it's Static like eggs. I like <laughs> you know, getting older. It's like I I like playing music that is I don't know, like I you know I'm still into punk, but I'm not in a band, so it's like it, you know I still listen to punk a lot, like when I'm driving and shit like that. You know, it's fun yeah. when I'm hauling ass and stuff. Yeah, dude, for sure. But, uh, you know, for the most part, like, I like to just fucking listen to music that's like, you know, sounds like, oh, this sounds really good. This is like some crazy, like, folk music or some fucking, you know, yeah. so I'll, I'll listen to like some, today I was listening to the death metal. Nikki was like, what the hell are you doing? I was all like, I'm just, I don't know, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm just, you know, yeah, well, right? it was like, yeah. you know, I play my guitar, it, it keeps me like, it keeps me going, hey, I want to pick up my guitar and, and play that right now, you know, or, you know, something like that. Like, mm-hmm. it, it keeps me, you know, it keeps my brain going with, like, oh, there's other stuff to listen to than just, like, the punk rock that I grew up on mm-hmm. that I love. I still love, like, you know, I listened to, I think, every punk album I had last night on the way home. I had CDs in my car, mm-hmm. and, you know, and I listened to every one that would work. But, uh, you know... And then I picked up my phone and, you know, I was listening to other shit, like, but I don't know. Like I said, since I don't play music anymore, I like to listen to it mm-hmm. a lot more. No, for so sure, for sure. my mind is open to lots of different kinds of stuff. So. I think, yeah, I think as like an adult, dude, like definitely, like you said, dude, like you progress in like terms of like what you like and stuff, you know, for well, sure. Eric, I, don't, I don't just listen to punk rock well, anymore either. Dude. Eric I made just, fun of me the other yeah. night. Well, I don't, he wasn't making fun of me. He was just like. Oh, he just laughed because I showed him this band, and he was just like, "Oh," he was just like, "It's like he's like, it's funny because it seems to be like that's the trope. It's like we we were all into like these hardcore bands, and then it's uh-huh. like now we're all into like these like folky sounding like <laughs> oh, you know, wow. bluegrass oh, yeah. bands, you know? Well, those are like really po- that's like really fucking popular stuff, man. Like I I always tell I always joke around. I was like, yeah, the only way you can get people out in this town is like if you have fucking long hair and an acoustic guitar, dude. Like that's how you fucking. And a beard, you know, you gotta have the beard and shit too, dude. Yeah. You know, like it's popular, dude. It's cool, but it's good music though, dude. Like, um, fuck, because like again, I don't necessarily listen to that music a lot, but like, like Old Man Markley, like oh, that's good stuff. Old Man Markley was kind of similar to like a lot of that folk stuff, you know. But it's good shit, dude. It's good stuff. It's uh, you know, yeah, I like it. Uh, I I, I recently listened to a, this band called Apes of the State, and they're pretty good. Uh, it's uh. A chick and she plays guitar and then there's a girl with a violin and I think a guy with a mandolin and it's you know it's kind of like it reminds me of who's that band that Eric likes they're like the punk band that like I don't know they're from fat records days and days mm, is that what they're called I think 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I think that's what they're called, but it's kind of like a folky kind of outfit, mm-hmm. you know. Okay. And uh, but it's good stuff. <coughs> like it ain't bad. Mm. I, I, um, and it's just kind of a nice, refreshing jam. Yeah, for sure, dude. Different face. Yeah, no, go for it, man. Uh, dude, what I've been listening to a lot lately is fucking, like, gangster rap, dude. Oh, really? I've been getting down on fucking Tupac, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, fucking, go and grab, go and grab your beer, dude. Uh, fucking Nas. Uh, yeah, dude, straight up, man. I've just been totally getting in on it, dude. It's, like, I've listened to it before, dude. Like, I've always liked gangster rap in the past, dude. I remember one time when we were cleaning out Dustin Barron's, like, uh, brother's basement, or his room down in the basement, uh, when he was moving out, when Dustin got that room, and we found the Chronic album, dude, and like Dustin's like, you know, he hates fucking rap, so <laughs> he's just like, yeah, take it, dude. And, like I remember in like 2003, fucking playing that shit, dude. But like, yeah, lately, dude, I'm just, I don't know. I I really like hip hop, dude. Like, hip hop's fucking really cool. Yeah, hip hop is very cool. It's music. I mean, they're, yeah. I mean. I like hip hop too. I like really obscure hip hop. Uh, you know, it's some of the stuff I listen to is not really for everybody. I can't like whip out hip hop at it. You know, it like when we're partying because right. everybody likes you know the the <coughs> new. What do they listen to? Like pop, like new pop music. Well, I mean, you know, it's just like I don't. know. I'm that guy at the party. That like I don't I'm like no nah, like I don't like to DJ because no one's gonna like my music. <laughs> so people are gonna call you out on it. You know? <laughs> yeah, they're like, what the like, what's up with this '50s track, man? Like, if the, like if the record could skip, it would, and everybody would be like, yeah. what the hell is this? What uh? So what, what do they normally listen to? Is it like you know just because like I've kind of gotten into like not necessarily gotten into it, but I've been listening to it a little bit more with my niece, like because she's all into like pop music and shit. So like she tells me about it. And, uh, like, I don't know, some of the tracks are kind of fun, you know? I don't necessarily like all of it, but I don't know, The weekend's pretty fucking well, cool, you know? Yeah, I'll, you know, The weekend's cool, because to me, it's like, uh, you got, like, I don't know, just kind of, he's kind of got that weird, like, 80s vibe. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, he's got the synth going and shit, dude. Yeah, like, it's it, cool it's shit. Neat. And he's done shit yeah. with, with Daft Punk, and, and Daft Punk is actually, yeah. honestly, one of my absolute favorite <coughs> Daft Punk's, I say, I never really got into Daft Punk. Oh, you, you gotta get into Daft Punk, dude. I gotta check it out. It's uh, it's good shit. I uh, and I have to mm-hmm. applaud them for their effort because it's not just like, I mean, it's techno. Yeah. But it's like I don't know. I think to me it's like techno rock because they play their instruments like they record like their weird voices, and then like you know right. they put it through, uh, you know. They put it through... Uh, all their computers and shit. Yeah, all their yeah. weird fucking toys that they have. Oh, yeah, dude. They're fucking just, yeah, rocking Their music dude. videos are fun. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, I think I was... Let's see. So, I would have been... After... It would have... It had to have been probably third grade. Third or fourth grade. Um, and I remember sitting on the floor, like, just like chilling playing with toys or doing something and uh daft punk came on because i'd watch mtv and daft punk came on tv and it was around the world and you know that music video is literally just like like aliens and frankensteins and monsters and mummies and Mm -hmm. they're just walking around a circle it's a disco ball and it's and it's the earth and it's just spinning and all they do for like five minutes is walk around it and it's around the world, around the world. <laughs> but, I mean, that fucking song is so cool, dude. And now that I play music, uh, you know, it's like, I'm a bass player. So, like, that fucking bass line is, like, just ripping the whole time. And then, like, you know, I, I just, you can have that more respect for it. But it's just awesome because I loved it as a kid, you know. And, like, they're, I don't they have a lot of good albums. Like, it, it, it's... Even their newer shit, mm-hmm. some of their stuff, you know, it's hit and miss for me. Yeah. But for the most part, I, I mean, you can't really go wrong. There's a few albums where they're not even, you know, uh, I don't know. It, like, I can't even skip songs. I'm just like, oh, this whole CD is just, I could listen to it yeah. over and over and it's over like and over. It's like fucking butter for your ears, buddy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Actually, one of their albums, they have a whole, there's a 
you know, I'm into anime and shit, so there's like a whole, uh, um, like movie basically. Uh, there's a there is a video they do a video for they had someone animate a video for every single track of that album. So oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, somewhere out there you can find that shit. And, yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, dude. My kids, uh, Jory, he's like into like, like. But I don't know if it's dubstep, but I guess like techno or whatever. You know, so yeah, he's all I into think that that's stuff. what I think that's what like <coughs> techno yeah. pretty much is most most times. Now. Dubstep. It's like Whoa, drop the bass. You know, he got one of those like those like fucking pad things or whatever. I keep like harassing him. I'm like, come on, make me a fucking theme song. Like, put it together, dude. Like, he's like, pay me fifty bucks. I'm like, come on, dude, twenty five. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> paying you 50 bucks no nah, dude um i've been uh i've been trying to like listen to a lot more music lately like especially in my car i've been using like pandora i did like the uh, did the free month for you know no ads yeah. and yeah dude like i don't know i like the randomness of a, of a good shuffle because like before you came here dude like i'll go on itunes you just press shuffle so I'll, I, here let's see i can do something fun let's see uh I was listening to... Hey, YouTube's going to be like, fucking, I hear that Daft Punk song. I, Off the air! <laughs> I was listening to uh, yeah. Authority Zero. Oh, well, Authority cool. Zero is cool, yeah. But here's, here is my my uh, my recently added... Mm. Unbroken Hearts, Austin Lucas. I'll show you that guy. You're in, you like religious stuff. He's pretty religious, okay. but in, to, to me, he's like a almost like a religious punk. Oh, it's weird. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dude, like it's, cool. it's really neat. It's country. Yeah. It's yeah. really country sounding, but it's really cool. Country music's good though, dude. Like, uh, there's good man, man, music out there. man, man is uh, this guy Honus Honus, and he does all these. He has Honus Honus. He has Man Man, and he has Mister Heavenly, mm -hmm. and he's in all three of those bands. But they're all really, really good. It's kind of like I don't know. They're almost to me like a more funky kind of obscure sounding like Black Keys. Yeah, Black Keys are cool too, man. That's like Jessica was like all into that shit, dude. Then I was listening to Apes, are of, cool. Apes of the State, who I was just talking to about a minute ago. Okay. Uh, the Minutemen. I think I've heard of them, actually. They they do the theme song to Jackass. So oh, you, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Um, now we I, have that fucking theme song in my head for, like, you know, two days. I've been really into uh, the Talking Heads lately. Well, just Talking Heads, not the Talking Heads, but, yeah. like, all the Talking Heads. Is there a heads. different? Is there a difference? I don't even know the difference. Well, no, much. it's just Talking Heads, but, like, all the Talking Heads, like, albums. Like, I've just been, like, right. burning through them and listening to them. Because it's all fucking the albums. Yeah. weird as shit. Like, yeah. Just something to listen to. Right, right. Do you, like, do you, like, use headphones all day? Like, or do you, like, how's your... How's your setup? Uh, well, when I listen to music, uh, I mean, I don't have fancy headphones, but yeah, yeah. I prefer to use headphones. Um, then, let's see here. Of course, I was rocking some Deftones. Deftones. Yeah, dude. I have White Pony and Around the Fur. Those are the only two albums that I own for them. Which one I like Deftones. Though, Adrenaline dude. and Around the Fur were the ones I was listening to. Uh, Milk Carton Kids. Yeah, I never heard of them. Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, Lagwagon. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Rose Lagwagon. Ended, uh, lots of Red <coughs> Hot Chili Peppers. Which one? Uh, lots of Red Hot Chili Peppers. I have... Yeah, man. Red Hot Chili... I, I always liked Red Hot Chili Peppers back in the day. Like, I kind of stopped listening to them, though, for a while. Like, I don't know. Do you listen to their new stuff? Um, I don't like it. Uh, it. It just kind of all sounds the same at this point. Well, you know, it, it, it's funny because... Uh, John Frusciante rejoined the band and then it's like they had the one guy for a little mm -hmm. while and he was in the band yeah, I've been following him for, for almost years. he was he was there. they had this one guitarist that was almost with him for 10 years and then was he fucking for 10 years damn dude and then yeah and then all of a sudden he like showed yeah. up for like band practice one day and was just like yeah, he, they were like hey well John's coming back so uh yeah. peace bro <laughs> it was it was fun while it lasted <laughs> yeah what well good night mate <laughs> Jeez, um, I li I'll I'll still go back and listen to like you know um, you know Californication dude like as a kid that was like my favorite album of theirs, and then the, what was it um the, what the, like the other way like what, what was it called like came uh, out it was the, the other side or uh, not the other side but it was the album after Californication. 
I forget the fucking name. It's like by the way, not by, by the way, isn't it? Yeah, by the way. Yeah, by the that's way. A, okay. That's a really. It's a really... good album. Like I okay. like that album a lot. So, by the way, I was just looking at it on my phone. Yeah. Uh, that album, like, uh, let's see here. I got caught smoking. I didn't get caught smoking weed. I stole a whole bunch of fucking weed from my stepdad. Nice. And nice. like, but then I got caught. Because we smoked it all in like 20 minutes. Oh, like shit. Still, like an eighth, dude. Like over oh, an eighth, probably. Oh, man. Me and Justin and Stefan and, and bam, just like, smoked bam, it all. Bowl after bowl after bowl. And I'm bowl just like bowl. skating, like shh, just like high as hell, rolling down the road. All of a sudden, right? I hear my mom's car. Oh, no. Because I was like, what? And I was like, I stopped. Like, I literally, like, <laughs> like stopped everybody was still skateboarding down the hill and i just stopped and picked up my skateboard and was like fuck (laughs) and i turned around and looked and sure enough here comes my mom and i fucking got in the car because i was like she just got your skateboard start going faster dude no so what i did was i kicked my skateboard over to justin and stefan and then my mom was like no get your fucking skateboard and get in the car and i was like oh no that way she can't take it away from you. And so I got in the... No, so I... Because I wasn't going to go hang out anymore. <laughs> because oh, no. they knew I took the pot. So then I had a That 70 Show moment, you know, where I'm sitting there and they're bitching at me and the walls are, like, doing this, like... And I'm, like, sitting there watching them, like... <coughs> uh, and they're, it's, they're, like, bitching at me, but they're, like, telling me, like, they're not mad at me. Yeah. But, so it was really confusing because I was super high. And, like, <laughs> you know... I'm trying to keep my eyes open, and they're like, what do you have to say for yourself? And I couldn't talk because my cotton mouth was so bad. She's like, I have some water. I was just like... I'll explain myself in a moment. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and so then I went and took a nap. You know, of course, mm-hmm. that's pretty much what happens when you get caught getting high. You're just like, ah, I gotta go sleep it off, dude. You wake up, you're still high, you're like, fuck. Yeah. You ever, done, you ever done that, dude? Like, wake up, you're still fucking stoned? Yeah. Yeah. I've done that with, like, edibles. I got off topic. I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, we're talking about music. I don't even remember, dude. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm so fucking high right now. We'll just cut that part out. Talk about moments. Like, I'm looking at my walls right now, and it's like, like... Right. So high. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to my car real quick. Can you... I can fucking chill on here, dude. We can talk. I can press pause. All aboard! That shit's fucking cool as shit out there, dude. Right? I was trying to find a, a meme here. Uh, again, like, somebody's all talking about Trump, like, doing a coup on the, you know, the government with the military, like, you know, takeover or something. Uh-huh. Like, he's not going to leave office. So, like... I want to get the meme and just post that on there. Like, relax, guy. It's like, it's not what I'm saying from South Park. It's like, hey, guy, just relax. We're, yeah. we're not doing nothing here. We're just hanging out. We're just going to hang out in the White House for a little bit. No, man, so what's been up, dude? How you been? I've been good. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, look at the just working, traveling back and forth. Yeah, traveling fucking back and forth. All That's like, that is some, like, tearing shit, you know? It's like some taxing shit, you know? It's not fun, like, having to do that all the time. Yeah, I mean, I get paid for it, so, I mean, I can't complain too much, but... Right. It's like, yeah, I mean, it got old after the third week. But after uh, how, how long are you gone for? Well, it's a 12-week training program. Oh, shit, dude. So, is that, are you gone, like, five days But, I guess, since I'm from Washington, it should take a little less, so that kind of... I was kind of stoked for that, so. How come for Washington, does they, like, require less training in Washington State? No, so. Um, open this thing. So, the, uh, like, so I, I went to Portland, got all my training set up. Come, come closer to the mic, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. I went, I went to the, uh. <clears throat> I went and got all my training set up, yeah. and then I, uh, uh, you know, had to take a break. So I would have been caught up by now and been all done, but right. Uh, I have to go train, <laughs> work for a little while, train some more. <coughs> train some more, and then you're there. Yep. 
<laughs> Dude, freaking shit. So, I've got to go back <coughs> to bitch. work for the next two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm pretty sure I'm back for school. That's which ain't be bad. I'll be in a classroom, so... Hey, dude, I haven't been in a classroom. But I bet you they'll be like, hey, <laughs> since, you know, since I can work now, they'll be like, hey, do you want to work? <laughs> yeah. So. Just be like, yeah, man, I don't want to make that fucking money. But, you yeah. fucking make that money, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that's cool, dude. That's cool. So what are you doing nowadays? You still working? What are, what are you doing? I work from home now. Yeah. Yeah. That would be fun, dude. I would love to work remotely. Yeah. That's, I've been, we've been working remotely since like March. Yeah. You and Jessica both? Jessica, no. I was actually, cause like, dude, for the longest time, like, cause we, we just moved back here like a month or like a month ago and like, I didn't have internet access like that whole time. Uh huh. And I could have worked from like the call center. I could have worked from the call center if I had to, but like I was able to post up at Jessica's place cause they had an extra office that nobody was using. So I worked there from like, for the last like six months basically up until like I just got, cause I just got the internet, dude. For the first time in like three years, dude, I finally have the internet. Nice. So, yeah, I just like post up in my dining room now. <laughs> I just like sit there and, you know, because it's fun. I don't know. It's fun to avoid. I'm only a week in. I'm sure the people that have like legitimately been home for six months though are just like fucking going crazy a bit. But I don't know, dude. I got space out here. I come out, you know, lift weights and, you know, I just fucking lift weights and, you know, try to run around and get some exercise. Yeah. I, uh, just drop down and do 20 push-ups, you know? So, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't... I, I, uh... Back and forth since... What is it? Since... I've been doing this since October. Uh, oh, shit. So, yeah, you're, you're, you've been in it for a minute. Yeah, dude. Like, and then I had to stop and take two weeks off. Right. And then, um, you know, I got back into it, but... At, like, least, you, at least you had a nice time, though. You uh, hang out at home, play some video games. Yeah. Listen to music. <laughs> Got down on some new zombies. There you go. Which is that the new Call of Duty? Yeah. Dude, I haven't played that yet. Is it fun? Uh, yeah, it's fun. Uh, it's funny though, cause I always feel like I'm kicking myself in the ass because I only ever buy those to play zombies. Dude, that's the only thing I. I, I suck online. Yeah, I so. suck, dude. I feel like we're kindred spirits in that sense, dude, because I suck so bad. At Call of Duty online, like I'll go in there with like I remember going out there with like Ray and Seth, dude. And, like we would just get our asses handed to us. I'd go like five for like I don't know fifteen or some shit, dude. You'll have to come play it because they just fixed the split screen. Oh, did they? Well, because yeah, so when they first released it, they didn't have split screen. Like you couldn't play yeah. it like couch co op. Everybody was like, "What the fuck, Treyarch, you motherfuckers!" You sent a bitch. You changed something. <laughs> and then you changed something out there. And so the, with this last update, uh-huh. they made it. They gave it like a Christmas kind of theme, okay. and then, uh, but they fixed it. So now you can, you, I can sit there and play with someone else. Well, that's what's up, dude. That's not bad. Yeah, I, like, I do. That's the only reason I buy it too, dude. Like my favorite one is Infinite Warfare. When you go play in that fucking amusement park. Yeah, that's, that's really my favorite. One of my favorite, with like the clown zombies. Yeah, dude. That's so cool, you get dude. the achievement <coughs> for fucking meleeing him in the fucking nose. Bank, bank. Yeah, dude. He's like, bang, bang, bang. Oh, no, dude, dude. I just was looking what at was your movies. Shit? Yeah, dude. And I saw Goodfellas. Have you watched any Fargo? I have Fargo. Not no, not about the TV movie, show? but the TV show. I haven't watched it now. None of it. No, I haven't oh, seen dude, it. Dude, you got to do yourself a favor and watch you gotta it. Gotta check it out. Where is it? Like, you know, where it's like streaming. Uh, Hulu. All Hulu. seasons. I have Hulu. I just finished every Damn, season. Dude, there you of go. It. Uh, We're brokering dude, deals on this podcast. But check like. it out, dude. So, um, the first season's really fun because they do a really good job of, um, like being true to the movie. So, like, there's scenes like as a, as you like liking film, mm. like there's scenes in the first season of Fargo, you will be like, holy shit, like that's straight up from the movie. From the movie. And then, uh, but they do a really good job of like subtly connecting the seasons here and there and it's like you have to piece it together yourself and so it's always kind of fun and like the last season i watched i was like oh man nothing not, I, you know i didn't get anything out of that mm-hmm. but then when this season ended i was like oh holy shit like oh, wow. because it was like i couldn't believe that like mm-hmm. yeah it, so it's, it's definitely worth a watch though it is i mean yeah. it's there i mean it's like i mean it's like fargo like, you know, it's... I've never seen the movie either, dude. I have the movie, but... What? I, yeah, dude. I just saw the movie and you've never fucking seen the... Oh. Yeah, dude. I got, I got a lot of movies, dude. I'm working you better go through. watch Fargo tonight, dude. Uh, it's, it's on the docket now, dude. It's official. 
<laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you haven't watched that movie, dude. I like I've heard of it, you know. It's just you know, it was one of those like random Goodwill buys. You, you see, you're like, oh, I want Fargo. That's I'll one watch of my it absolute favorite movies. Is it? Dude? Yeah, that's cool. Dude. That's cool. But no, I'll, I'll have to dig it. I'll dig it out of here somewhere. It's right there. You don't have to dig it out of anywhere. I'm so high. <laughs> Again, dude. There's like I've been working my way through. I have, I have this app on my phone now. It's called like Eye Collector, and so like you scan all the fucking barcodes, dude. And so I've been working my way through like. I've only gotten through, like, these two fucking shelves, dude. It's, like, 60 tapes right there. So, like, once I'm done, dude, I'm, like, probably going to have at least, like, 500 in this room, you know, all together, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's just funny because when you watch mm-hmm. it, you, it's, like, you're going to watch Fargo and it'll be, like, unlocking a door because as soon as you watch the movie Fargo all the other seasons you'll laugh because it's like you'll yeah. see what they're drawing from right, of course, like it's of super cool no it's cool it's cool how they they pay homage to the movie like that dude like you know anytime that something can do like that type of homage and not like wreck it like you know super troopers 2 you know for instance because that was a piece of shit <laughs> but you know i see what you mean dude it's yeah, cool no that's awesome dude yeah yeah dude i've um i got uh, oh fuck! What the hell did I download? I downloaded uh, the Friday the Thirteenth video game. Uh-huh. Have you played that? Oh, uh, not since I was a child. I rented it from Mr. Ed's. No, video. not the not the Nintendo version. Oh, they have a new, <laughs> it's a new one, dude. No, yeah, the the uh, it's like a it's like a hunted killer type of deal. Yeah, like you got to run away from them and set traps and shit. Yeah, dude, you go, you got to chase all the fucking kids around and fucking kill them and stuff, dude. Mm-hmm. I played that. I also got that uh, Dead Before Daylight. Yeah, I played that game because it's way cooler. I have no. I bought that game. I played that Dead by Daylight. It's way yeah. cooler, dude. And if you play that shit, I will play it with you because that's the only reason. Like, I've dude, downloaded it twice. You have a PlayStation, right? Yes. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, I've downloaded it twice because I want to play. And then what? Like, I liked most about it was yeah, like you could download like. The, the skins pack. on there, dude. Yeah, like They're the cool. scream guy and shit. Like, yeah, no, I got I got Leatherface, I got Freddy Krueger, and I got fucking uh, Michael Myers. Nice. And yeah, no, that game's fun. It I I I'd be like, down to play that online. I like those. Uh, well, there's another game, and I really I like the idea of like you know like a team versus one person. Mm-hmm. I just think it's cool. I had a game called Evolve, and it was really cool. But you got to be really good at it. Not a lot of people play it, and I honestly, you know, probably nobody plays it now. <laughs> yeah, but I've never, like, I've never heard of Evolve, dude. What is this? Well, so it's almost like it's like you think of it like the Predator, like you know, there's a monster. Predator, yeah, dude. They came out with a Predator game too, dude. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah exactly that yeah. Predator game. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, there's a, uh, so think of it like that, you know, there's, so you pick a monster, you pick this crazy monster, and you start off as, like, a little, you know, like, a little, like, man-sized monster, uh-huh. and then you run around, and, like, you have to hide from the hunters, which there's a group of, I think, four oh, or five cool. of them. that's cool. You know, and they're all cool, like, they all have their fucking, you know, there's a trapper, there's a fucking tracker, there's a fucking assault guy, and then, you know, the heavy dude, uh, you know, but you're the monster and you've got to like hide in the bushes and sneak around and stuff. And like you eat fucking like, you know, the little monsters that are running around and stuff. And like, you know, you hide up in the trees, but like, as you eat stuff, like you get, you, you start to get bigger and bigger. And like, Mm -hmm. you know, eventually you turn into like full size monster and you can start doing damage to like the team. And yeah, like eventually you become this huge fucking monster and then the team has to like work together to try and fucking track your ass because if not, then you just (laughs) destroy him. It's really fucking cool, dude. How long, um, how long does it take to like, to build your monster up that? Is it pretty quick? If you're good at it, it's, it's really fast. Yeah. Yeah. And there's different kinds of monsters. There's like fucking like, So are you playing the computer or are you playing like people online? You're playing people online. That's what's up. Yeah, so, like, you jump in a game of, you know, so, like, you all jump in a game, and then, basically, it's almost like, you know, you roll the dice, and then someone is the monster, and then the team yeah. picks who they want to yeah. be real quick. And... <coughs> That's pretty cool. So, yeah, not, so you really... don't, so it's, like, always a toss-up, then you're not even guaranteed that you're going to be the monster then, right? Yeah. See, yeah. that's cool. I like that, dude. Because then it's like, a, it's like a, you know, it's a special thing when you get to be the monster. Yeah, exactly. You're like, oh, fuck, I got to get my shit down. Like, I got to know what I like. Yeah, because yeah. then you got, you know, four yeah. different monsters to choose from. 
And, like, you know, you've got, like, your brute, like, King Kong-type monster, and then you've got your crazy, like, predator monster that, like, goes invisible and ah, fucking yeah, you can so sneak up on people. Too. And then you've got your, like, <laughs> yeah, like, your fucking just fire-breathing dragon-type dude, you know. It's, just rolling there as a dragon, dude. Fuck, like, some Godzilla shit or something. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking, <laughs> yeah. it's really neat. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. So, I, uh, I did the free trial for HBO Go or whatever, HBO uh-huh. Max. Dude, they got all the fucking Godzilla movies on there. Yeah, that was pretty. Watch. That was pretty cool to roll up on. I was like, "Fuck, yeah, dude!" I used to watch Godzilla when I was a kid a lot. Like, I just remember it as a as a kid, just sitting there, and I saw like you know, like you know, it was like they're on a boat, and like you know, they're all like, ah, nah, 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 and Godzilla just shows up and kills them. I was like, "Whoa!" And, like that it was an imprint on me as a child. Yeah, Godzilla was super cool. I always liked. Uh... You should check out the video game, dude. The video game is cool because it's basically just a movie and you just go around and wrecking shit, dude. It's pretty badass. <laughs> yeah. I I liked uh, Rampage World Tour. Oh, Rampage was the shit, dude. I love Rampage. Is that the 64 one? The... It, it was 64 and PlayStation and yeah. uh, whatever other one, computer and shit, too. So I never played games on PC. I but hear it's Rampage, really cool. Rampage was like... You know, yeah, like, well, Rampage World Tour was the one that was hilarious, because it was, like, the three one, but it, everything looked like clay, yeah. and, like, yeah. you'd, like, climb up the buildings, you'd eat, like, naked people and shit. <clears throat> like, I, I want to say I remember at some point even seeing, like, the actual arcade version for that, like, I don't know, maybe not, but it seems yeah, like they no, would it was a, it. it was an NES game, and an yeah. arcade game, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, dude. Uh, I miss arcades. There's still like times you like what place out there in Seaside. There's like some like large ass arcade. I don't know. How fun would it be uh, to open a, to own an arcade? I, dude, I saw today on Facebook the the guy that owns St. Jack's out there in um in uh in like was it Wapato? Yeah. It's like one of the last like video stores in America. Uh, he's like he sold it to some kid. He's like our age or something. He was like all nerdy as shit. But it was like as of January first, he owns that video store, and I was like, man, that's so cool. You know, to think to like have that opportunity. But like you said, like own an arcade. Yeah, that would be fucking dope. Oh yeah. I always thought you could like give somebody a run for their money around here. You know, like the Meadowbrook and all that shit, dude. Like if you know COVID ever goes away, dude, and we can actually open stuff back up. You're right. <laughs> you know, like you could like you give it a you know somebody a run for their money. You know. You could. You could totally. Yeah. Like a bowling alley. A bowling alley, an arcade, go-karts, you know, some miniature golf. Just get a giant warehouse, dude. I'd like to do... I I think it would be fun to do, like, a... uh, Like, it would be so cool to find, like, people who just, like, want to get rid of the fucking... These pinball machines that are sitting in their fucking house. Like... I, I hate this fucking thing. It's been here forever. It's ugly. I don't need this. <laughs> it always breaks down. You know? Yeah. No, I don't want... No, I don't need none of that. But, you know, it's yeah. like... I, think I always hear about fun. those, like, breaking down and shit. So you gotta, like, fix them. Well, you have to know how to... Yeah, you gotta know how to fix them and shit. But, like, how cool would that be? Like, I, I think it would be cool to just... God, you know, an arcade... Just having an arcade would be cool as fuck. And plus, with, like, technology nowadays, it's like, there's... Like, don't tell me you couldn't, like hook some kind of like raspberry pi up to a tv and like hack it and then boom you got a fucking <laughs> you're like charging people at <laughs> to be no, kids. no that'd be you're fucked like, up you're I like would... yeah you're not paying any sort of licensing fees here <laughs> but no it'd be like an underground arcade dude hell yeah people just roll in and be like oh it's like look at me i'm being nostalgic right now <laughs> make them sign a fucking waiver and be All like right hey. there you go yeah, make them sign something being like, you cannot get mad at us, and you can't be like, hey, you can't you know. out. It's like, if you're just a lazy ass and don't want to download these yourself or find mm-hmm. something to do, then we'll fucking, we'll download them, and then you come to us. It's just like music and shit, dude. Like, you know, all that shit, I mean, like, that, I mean, I remember, like, when we were in high, you know, high school, dude, you could, like, you know, emulate, like, you know, Sega, and, like, Sega. not necessarily a Super Nintendo, but, like, definitely Nintendo. It's like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega. Right. And like the any like the Atari and all that shit, which I was like, we were, I never played in Atari. In Atari, I was like, I was way too old, you know, I was way past that generation. Yeah, I started listening to a uh, retro video games podcast, and it's kind of neat. 
learned about all kinds of cool games and you know i've heard games that i've played yeah you know stuff like that but uh definitely made me like interested in like trying to find some cool like handheld that can like you know play all those old retro games Let's see, that'd be cool, dude. I mean, the Switch is, like, kind of, like... I mean, if you get the Nintendo store, I mean... Well, like, I do... I've got... Like they said, you know, like, on my SNES Classic, I've got games that, you know, I've never even seen yeah. in stores. Yeah. But, you know, they're, like, crazy-ass, like, arcade games, like, or crazy-ass RPG games that... Did you get, like, like, WrestleFest on there, dude? you remember WrestleFest? You, you can get all kinds of shit, bro. See, that's the, that'd be the fucking you game I want You ever heard of Fire emulate. Pro Wrestling? I have. I have heard of that, dude. It's badass from dude, what I hear. It's like old school. And there's like a storyline to it. Yep. Like, you know. I, see, I've never gotten to play that game, but I've heard about it like through the wrestling, you know. Through wrestling. Folklore. Yeah, see. I, I know. I heard a podcast the other day that talked about it, and I thought about you because I was like, oh, I wonder if Kevin's ever played this shit. Like, I wonder if he's like come across. Because I know you'd be like, oh, hey, this is cool. I see it, but I just, I've pick just it never, up. yeah, I've never been able to like figure out how to download it because I'm not like, I don't know. Like, I'm just not that smart with it. Like, it's not that I'm not that I'm smart, not either. I just I, like... I, yeah, I, I see it's mean. like... Don't, I don't know. Like it's, it gets complicated. I'm just like, I don't even know what I'm doing, you know? We should just do it like a commentary, like, mm. playthrough. Like, like a, see, we, we, should, we should find... We could find a video on YouTube yeah. of the playthrough, and then we should just watch it and be like, whoa. It's our commentary. <laughs> we commentary on somebody else's gameplay. Yeah, no, <laughs> that would be fun, dude. That would be fun. Fire, yeah, I've, I've always wanted to play that video game because it's like you, it's like it's all updated with like new characters and stuff. So and it's like all that old school, you know, like what Nintendo sixty four like like shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Fuck those games. Like AEW is coming, supposed to be coming out with like a, a kind of a retro esque uh, video game here in the next year or so. But they showed like preview uh, preview footage of it and it looks cool. But you know, I don't know, dude. I could see it in my head a little bit, like an updated version of like that, you know, that kind of because that overhead the shot, you just, you guys just all fucking fight, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. That's actually, like, I think I have the PS4 version because they have like New Japan Pro Wrestling put out. This is the, mm-hmm. this is the like old school version, right? Or is this a, or no, or yeah, is it a, is it a? <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so cool, dude. See, that's so fucking cool, man. But I love oh, yeah. I love video games, dude. Yep. That yeah. Was more fun. I downloaded uh, that Resident Evil Zero. Yeah. Oh, that's old school. Yeah. I had it on, like five bucks, dude. Like, I had it on GameCube. Yeah, yeah. And dude, the game. I think I was like, who the fuck was I talking to? I think I was talking like my friend Jay about it, just like the other day on our podcast, dude. Like. Fucking, okay, like, the GameCube is such an underrated system, dude. Like, I, I just remember playing so many GameCube games. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, GameCube, uh, yeah, I feel ya. There's a lot of games that, like, I never... Like, that was one of those systems where I'd go to uh, Game Crazy or whatever it was at Hollywood Video and I'd just buy game after game after game and just be like, oh, I'm gonna play this, I'm gonna play this. Yeah. Dude, no, man, it's cool shit, dude. I, I, that's how I kind of found out about, like, sports games, dude. Like, I'd play them on, like, the PlayStation 2, like, Madden. But, dude, like, I got down on, like, Mad, like a good solid, solid, like, three years of Madden. Like, 2004, 2005, and, like, 2006. And I think by 2007, I got the PS2. Yeah. Yeah. I had a PS2, like, when they were, <laughs> yeah, like, at the end of their popularity. Yeah, pretty 2007, much. 2008. Yeah. Because that's, the PS3 came out in 2006. Yeah, probably around there. Yeah. Um, the Wii, when the Wii came out, that was fucking fun. I remember playing the Wii, the shit out of the Wii, like going see, to and I, for Jackie's house and playing like Wii Sports. Oh, yeah. Those are so, that was so many fun nights. And, but like, you know, the Wii was one of the systems that like, I just, I didn't, like, I didn't have, uh, at the time, it wasn't just something that I wanted, like, mm-hmm. I... I had just gotten an Xbox, I think 360, like my very first Xbox 360, and that was so that would have been 2012 because I Aga was late. Zach, my brother, had one before me, and I played it all the time. Yeah, and uh, I had a PlayStation for a really long time, you know, because I liked PlayStation games. But like, it's like their games kind of started sucking, so I was like, well, I'll switch over. 
And then I didn't have video games for a while until probably like, uh, well, like I still had a system, but I just mm-hmm. used it for like movies and shit. I think I had an Xbox 360 for a while from like 2012, but I, you know, yeah, they're just, I don't know. The games that I liked really weren't there. Mm-hmm. And so I just kind of used it as like a, you know, a media system, play music, watch movies, shit yeah. like that netflix you know yeah. when netflix was like very first you know like Dude, a I, thing <laughs> i remember my first experience with netflix was like i was at some person's house and like somebody brought their yeah they're like 360 over and hooked it up they're like this is netflix and like this is like 2010 dude i'm like streaming internet shit like get the fuck out of here like man. what like look at these scary movies yeah, i remember right? the first time i turned on netflix i fucking as soon as i it like opened up and was like welcome to netflix like it was like Watch Rocco's Modern Life, and I was like, oh my fucking god. Rocco's I, Modern Life. And I turned it on. It's such a I great watched show. that. I fucking binged, like, Inspector Gadget. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, Inspector Gadget, man. That is a classic, dude. Love Inspector Gadget. The very gadget. first episode of Inspector Gadget, he's got a mustache, but they got sued because he looked too much like Inspector Clouseau. I didn't know that, dude. Yeah. Go back that. on Netflix. You can okay. still find it. Watch the first episode. He's got this weird mustache. You're like, what in the fuck? But it's because he looked exactly like yeah. Jacques Clouseau. Sons of bitches, dude. <laughs> uh, I remember, uh, do you remember the live action movies? Mm-hmm. I remember as a kid, dude, my dad like took us to go see that. And like at the very end, it was in the middle of summer, dude. The fucking theater like lost power. And like, dude, like everybody was like leaving. Yeah, dude. Like they sort of like lost power. We had to fucking like bail. It's like, you piece of shit, fucking regal cinemas. Sons of bitches. Nah, dude. I liked, uh, what the fuck were we talking about? Fucking GameCube? Yeah. Yeah. At one point. (laughs) Like, two minutes ago, we were talking about that. We we did say GameCube. The cube of the game? Yeah, no, dude. No, I've been, I'm fucking stoned as shit right now, Josh Bryant. I am stoned as fucking shit. Me too, brother. Hell yeah, dude. So what are we going to talk about? What do you want to finish it on? What do you want to finish the podcast on? Let's, um, well, so, got an idea, uh, for a podcast. Um, this is going to be, like, my, like, kind of, like, end minute plug. Uh, (laughs) it's, like, it's going to be called Flawless Victory, and it's going to be why you like Mortal Kombat. I want you to come and talk to me why you think Mortal Kombat is the best fighting game. Why you think it is, uh, you know, uh, been around for so long. Why you think that it's been able to, you know, still satisfy people today. Uh, I want you to have a favorite character. I want you to have a a favorite game. Um, You know, I think that it would be a fun way to... I don't know, just fucking make conversation, just fucking, you know, break up the monotony of, you know, something else. It's a good way to be nostalgic and, and, uh, and think of a, you know, just, yeah, just remember what, you know, because everybody's played it, no matter what, even if you don't like them. Like, you know, they've been going on forever. Like, you know, even if, you know, you know, you've walked to someone's house and you've watched them play Mortal Kombat, you've walked into an arcade and there's someone playing, you know, you watch the fucking, the arcade stand someone's and someone's playing it like you know i mean what we're up to what are we at i guess 11 of them now <laughs> is it 11 of them yeah i imagine yeah we're at 11 of are we them? still counting like sub-zero and all that you know all those like little... yes the obscure games and the uh, sub-zero we got sub-zero we got shaolin monks we've got uh the obscure fucking stupid movies Oh we yeah. We can talk about yeah, um, yeah. the fun jokes that they make in those dumb movies. Uh, you know, it there's it, it, there's a there's a Mortal Kombat verse that we could talk about. Um, and I, I want to talk to whoever wants to talk about it. I don't think that's a fucking podcast I want to listen to. <laughs> yeah, well, I think you'll have to be my first guest because I've been on this will be the episode 4 with you. Yeah, I think so. I think you've been on here like four times. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I think I think it'll be fun. I and, think yeah, fuck yeah. Dude. And I've got and I've honestly I think I pretty sure I have all of the com all of the Mortal Kombat's on my uh, FNAF Classic. 
Oh shit! I have, yeah, I hacked it. it. Like I said I hacked it. I, up to I so I have up to three of them on there. So you know we could sit yeah. there and just play through all of them and you know, uh, you know, just have a good fucking have a good time talking about it. And yeah, I have a lot. I I have I have some stories about Mortal Kombat for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hell yeah, Josh Ryan. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Well, bro. thanks for having me, Kevin. It was a good time. I'm fucking high as shit. Like, I'm like legitimately high. Like, <laughs> I'm like too, damn, dude. dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. This podcast has been brought to you by Pizza Productions. <laughs>